Hello everyone, it's St George's Day and this is another Let's Play for Special Days. We're going to play How to Raise a Dragon. But Variax, you will say, how will raising a dragon have anything to do with St George's Day? Well, it will all become clear, because as we know, St George killed the dragon, so... How can there be a dragon if we don't raise it? Okay, so we start out as an egg, and we have to shake the egg off. And we're a baby dragon! Woo! Baby dragon! I can move this way, and I can move that way. Oh, I missed that. That was something about <coughs> um, how baby dragons can look after themselves, and... Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Oh yeah, and uh, we can eat food. Yum! Which changes our colour. Coloration. The dragon's scales can take on almost any colour of the rainbow. Contrary to popular folklore, the colour of a dragon has little to do with the dragon's temperament or abilities. The colour of a dragon's scales depends entirely on the food to eat when it is still ha a hatchling. It is unclear what causes a dragon to prefer one food over another. It is simply a matter of personal preference. So now we can eat different kinds of food and they will turn, turn as different colours. We want to be a red dragon. So we're going to eat as much red as possible. We don't know no sissy green dragon. Red. Red is the only colour for us. Red is the proper dragon colour. No, not blue, not green, but red. No, I'm going to go up here. Red. Oh yes, now we're yellow. I don't want to be yellow. I wish to be red. Red, damn you! No, not blue! Red! No, uh, orange, fine. Orange. Unless there's more red down here, is there more red? Ah, more red! Nom. No, okay, I guess that's as red as we're gonna get. Okay, so we're gonna be an orange dragon, fine. Orange dragon. I don't care. Oh, it's a wizard! <laughs> My god! Capturing a dragon. When still hatchling, a dragon can be captured with relatively ease using cleverness of magic. Or magic. Uh, the benefits of a captive dragon are many, as magical creatures, even their droppings are useful in magical rituals. The ethics of holding captive a sentient creature are, of course, questionable, as is the wisdom keeping a creature for too long. Because now we're bigger! Rah, rah, yes, we have escaped, and we're bigger. Adolescence. After several years, a newly born dragon will have grown considerably, and isn't newly born anymore. It will be as tall as a human being, and will have achieved a great deal of strength and intelligence. A captive adolescence is not very likely to stay captive for long. The wings of an adolescent are not developed enough for true flight, but they are able to provide some lift, allowing the dragon to extend the height and length of its jumps, i.e. we get a double jump now. Also, notice that he is wearing heels. And... But yeah, he's wearing heels. And so are orange and wearing heels. This is becoming slightly less masculine than I wanted to. Breath powers! The most distinctive ability of the dragon is its breath power. Dragons can channel magic through their mouths to cause amazing effects, searing fire, healing mist, or even a burst of water and magic that can cause plants to grow with incredible speed. Each dragon only has a single breath ability, and it seems to be determined by the dragon's diet as an, adole as, as an adolescence. Excuse me. Some dragons lack any ability, breath ability at all, perhaps due to insufficient nutrition. So much the same as before, we could eat this plant and get, well, get some of the plant ability. Nom. See, and part of the plant is filled in, but we're not going to be doing that. Ooh. Equally, we can have the blue and get the healing power. But we're not going to do that either. I told me to press C for my dragon's breath, but it's not working because they don't have any fire. Oh yes, because I'm going for fire, you see. And here is the old man. Eat his face. Nom. 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 Um, yeah, he's looking for medicine, apparently. But he captured us, so screw that. 
We are not going to give him any medicine. We are looking for that fire. So we have to find four pieces of fire. One. None here. Just stalking through the wizard's tower. Um, there's some plants. Don't want that. Oh, fire! Mmm, yummy, yummy fire. No, oh, I don't want to heal any stupid trees. I'm an orange fire breathing dragon. I don't even need to be red. That's how badass I am. I'm an orange dragon that breathes fire. And I, yeah, I don't know. No. Can't do that yet. Go down here. Maybe there's some more fire somewhere else, like there, which I have to jump for, which is annoying. Mmm. Delicious. And now. Um, hmm. I think this is the way out. Yes, I don't want to go that way yet. Down this horrible sewers. Ooh, ooh! They get it all in my heels. No, ooh, ooh! Jump, jump. Thank you. Now we shall search even more for some more fire. More fire. We need one more fire. Come on, it's got to be around here somewhere. I don't think I've been too efficient in my search, to be honest with you. I don't really think that I've done a very good job of this at all. I want the fire. I've already been here, haven't I? Yes, indeed I have. Hmm. Oh. Nope, and we're back in the garden. Where is the last piece of fire? Oh, this is annoying. Well, let's go up this stairway and see if we've missed anything here, which is more than likely. No, we, this is the third time we've been in the piano sofa room. We no longer need the piano sofa room. Nope, we don't need that either. Yes, I think I've been here before as well. Oh dear, people. Variax fails at finding his way around places and finding fire. Oh, Dagnabbit. Maybe there's further places out here. Yes, let's be systematic about this. Maybe there's some here. Nope, that's the healing power which we do not want. There we go. Um, now... Ah, fire breath! Fire breath is... In in the minds of the peasantry, the most memorable of a dragon's abilities. By producing flammable gases within its stomach and lighting them with a special gland in the roof of the mouth, a dragon can produce a flame hot enough to incinerate almost anything in his path. Let's go and visit the wizard again. Just out of curiosity, I wonder if I can burn him to death. It would help if I remembered where he is. He's over here. Die? Yes! Ha 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 ha! You do not capture dragons. That is very bad for your health. And now, oh god, now we can also get out this way. By burning this. Yes. Escape! There is no... There are no known cases of captive dragon being kept past late adolescence. The dragon is too intelligent and strong-willed uh, to be held in captivity once its body and mind develops past human levels. The luckiest captors simply awake one day to find their pets missing. The less fortunate receive object lessons in consequences of crossing dragons. Yes! So, um, this is going to be a two-part let's play it seems. So, so I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo!